Spoiler alert, the shaken bitter came out awesome, so you could like click off now. But if you want to see how to brew this yourself, you have to tag along for the full shake to glass video. So let's just kick it. Are you up for another shake and brew? Today we're making shake and bitter. We'll try to do this super fast today. Miss some plus and everything. Best bitter or ESB or something. Maybe middle in between. I'm Dr. Hans. This is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. Yes, I do stupid shit here on YouTube so you don't have to, but this you should try. The, the shake and brew. I have this full with sanitizer. This is a nine liter keg. We'll be using eight liters total of uh, liquid today. I have one liter water in the, in the kettle. And this is a floating pickup. I can link down below to a video about this pickup. And also to a sour beer I did where I pushed like five kilos of uh, I used five kilos of raspberry and, and ah, that filter worked amazing. This video today is sponsored by Angel Yeast, so we'll be using their CN36, which I've been used before, and it's a really good, nice yeast, and I'm also using their yeast nutrient. Don't skip out on yeast nutrients. Today we'll be using medium spray malt, and this is 500 grams or 1.1 pounds. We don't need a funnel today, so we have the bigger opening here. Hopefully, we'll get everything in. So we'll use two bags, that will be a total of one kilo or 2.2 pounds. Any conversions that I missed, the doctor will make in whole. Thank you. Simple brew day, simple, almost one kilo. Simple brew day, simple filming, just one angle today. We will be dry hopping this also, but not Today, we'll be doing it in a couple of days. Last time I used this, fermentation was super quick when I used the CN36. This is 50 grams of East Kent Golding going in. And some yeast nutrients. How are we looking on the clock? Am I fast enough? I will just add some. One liter of boiling water and I brought CD. And uh, the hops will give bitterness and flavor to the beer. See, they set the timer for eight minutes. That was Swedish. I just asked Siri to put a timer for eight minutes. Should the dance? Shake it like the doctor. Shake it like the doctor. Eight minutes. Time is up. Oh, sorry, screen straight with the microphone. Time is up. Eight minutes. Let's put away Siri. Don't let it sit much longer than you planned because the uh, hops will continue to bitter the uh, the wort. It smells like wort to me. Now we're gonna add the rest of the water. You don't need to buy water like I do. You can use tap water. As you see, hopefully in this video, if I don't talk too much, the shake and brew is an extremely fast way to brew. And I'm trying to come up with some different recipes for you to have as a base. So you can go and check out the whole shake and brew playlist. Could I bother you for a, for a like? And if you like what I do here, consider helping out by supporting on Patreon or becoming a channel member or just buy me a beer. I have PayPal links and like everything down in the uh, description. Also comment what beer you want to see next in the Shake and Brew. The CN36 we'll be using today has quite a remarkable span. And the last time fermentation really ramped up and was super hot, but Delish, super clean 
geez, this can ferment quite low. So I'm also thinking I could do a kölsch with it. Eight liter in this nine liter mini keg is quite a lot. So uh, I will use some extra pressure, more than I would like, actually, because we're all going to dry open with the rest of that East Kent gold in that one. 100 gram pack. Feels okay to pitch. Why don't all yeast packages come like that? Easy! Love it. Okay, let's pitch it. P pitch. Let's pitch it. CN36, 12 grams. I'm not gonna rehydrate today either. It has worked so good. And we're using quite a lot for this uh, 8 liter, but it's not over pitching at all. Put the Spanding on, I will dial in this in. Ooh! Now I did it. I almost put it on the out. Be super anal about this. Never, never put the spanding on the wrong side. I have done that. Never put your spanding valve on the wrong side. We have 1045. Okay, I will put this in the shed and I will see you at dry hopping. Dry hopping time. The table is outside, but I will try to stay in focus. I've come up with this great solution. Sometimes easier the better. Tilted the fermenter. I did release some gas this morning here. Some chicken. Okay, only one angle, but give me a break. 50 grams of East Kent Goldings. No epic filming today. Will I make a mess? Probably. Yes, I made a mess. And we had like foam coming up here. But we're, we're okay, we're okay. You might have thought that this was a professional channel, but as you see, it's clearly not. I made a mess. And what can you learn from this? First, don't subscribe to my channel. Go to someone else's channel instead. This is not a channel you want to be subscribed to. I do mistakes. Okay, let's purge it a little bit. You shouldn't really need to purge this as this is fermented under pressure. This is like self-purging. But it doesn't cost much. Is this good content? The room temp here is just over 20 C. This has been running a little hotter than planned. This time also 23.2-ish. Uh, I set this to 25 Celsius now. See you at tasting. If nothing bad happens. Okay, I'm losing good head here, but I've been sitting here for quite a while, like doing thumbnail poses, epic thumbnail poses. We are a couple of weeks after brew day, and this has been sitting in the same cake as we brewed it in. It started to clear up really nicely. Now it just has a slight lovely haze. It's not as dark as you see it. It has a light, amber color looks really good it had a really nice white fluffy head but that is on its way <sighs> yeah i do get the east kent golding and like caramelly notes smells really nice as i said i have tried this i tried it when it was super young behind the scenes for patreon channel members but then I decided to leave it for a little while and it has improved enormously with some conditioning time, I must say. It was not that young, but it's much better now. I'm spoiling it. Sorry. Okay. I can't remember if I took the FG values on this, but I will have the, the doctor write the FG and the ABV here. Thank you. Really nice beer. A little bite from the bitterness, some spiciness from the East Kent Goldings and some caramel notes. And that must be from that medium DME. This was awesome. How could we improve this? Well, don't need to improve it, but maybe we could try mixing it up with two hop varieties. Could we add some sort of 
I don't know, maybe biscuit malt or or something. It doesn't need improvement, but you could always like try to make it even more complex. But it's it's beautiful. Should, you should really try to brew this one. And uh, no one would know that this was an extract beer that I brewed outside here in like 20 minutes. Damn, we're getting good result out of the, the shaken brew. What else do you want to see in the shaken brew series? I have a shaken Kölsch coming up. Do you want to see a shaken Napa? Do you want to see like a full size corner cake shaken brew? Let me hear down in the comments. But if for some reason shaken brew is not your cup of tea, why don't you go and watch this video? You can learn from other brewers' mistakes. Big shout out to AngelGs for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Dog dance out. Hello.